In the next couple of episodes, we're going to be talking about something called operators inside PHP. And in this episode, we're just going to focus on the type called arithmetic operators. Now, as you guys can see, I did actually echo out five inside my code and inside my browser, we then have five. If I go back to my code and say five plus five, the plus symbol is actually what we call an arithmetic operator. So it's basically, you know, math operators that we use inside math and that sort of thing. So right now we can actually add five. If I refresh, we get 10. So we can use plus symbols. We can use minus symbols. We can also divide by writing backslash. We can also multiply by writing multiplication or what do you call it, star. And we have two more that I wanna talk about. So we also have one called a modulus. And a modulus is when we use percentage. So basically what this does is that it goes in and say, okay, we have five divided by five and how much do we have left over? So if I were to save this, refresh my browser, you guys can see we get zero because right now five divided by five has no leftovers. If I were to change the five to an eight instead, we should actually have three inside our browser because you know eight divided by five is one into the eight and then we have three left over. So if we go refresh, we get a three. Now we also have one called a exponentiation, which is when we use multiply, multiply in between them instead. So this is basically when we say, let's just go ahead and change this one to five. When we say five to the power of five, you know, when you have five and then you have a small 10 in the corner inside your math equations, and then it says, you know, 10 to the five. So if we were to say five to the power of five, Refresh, we get 3,125. If we were at, you know, if we were to just say two, we would get something like 25, which is right here. So these are some of the basic arithmetic operators we have inside PHP. And this is really all we're gonna talk about in this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna cover something called an assignment operator. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next time.